Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we got something a little different for you. We are going to be assembling the hog backplate and wing with the comfort harness and comfort pad. So stay tuned and let's get to it. So first thing we're gonna do to make some room here is get rid of some of these components. So let's get rid of the wing. We'll need those. And we're just gonna make some room here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is start um, attaching our shoulder straps to the wing and, or sorry, to the uh, comfort pad and the uh, back plate. Now there's a bunch of ways you can do it. Now you, you can see when you buy the harness kit from Hog, it will come already pre-assembled um, to this point, and then uh, you need to assemble it onto the harness or onto the uh, back plate. So I am going to start with the right shoulder uh, strap. You can see the difference. The left shoulder strap comes with the inflator hose keeper. In the kit, they do give you these little sleeves, these um, webbing sleeves that normally would go over top of here. So when they're connecting into the aluminum plate, there are rub points and it gives it a little bit extra protection. But installing the comfort pad, they don't really fit through the keepers um, with these on. So I'm gonna keep these off of the shoulder pads um, for this installation. Now the best thing to do to start off is actually get your comfort pad and put it onto the back plate and line up your holes, the three and three. You'll see the three holes on the top of the um, actual aluminum plate and then the slotted groove here. So I'm gonna take my um, bolts with the fasteners here and I'm gonna just put it through the middle one at the top so what I'm going to do is I put the bolt through and you just peel back the back plate uh, padding and it'll expose the holes and I just put this in there temporarily and what that's going to do is just keep your back pad and the plate aligned uh, together so everything stays um, in line when you start putting on the shoulder pads. Now, you can actually take this pad right off if you want, if it's in the way, and you can put that on later. So, when you're installing this uh, shoulder pad, you just gotta make sure you get the orientation correctly. So this is the right um, shoulder strap. So, the way I like to do it, there's many ways you can do it, but I am going to go through here. It, you'll see there's uh, these little um, keepers on the back of the pad. So you're going to go through the bottom one.
And before you come back through this one, what I do is you get one of the plastic uh, tooth clips, okay? And you're gonna go through the bottom of the clip and then up through, back through your top clip, okay? And then to finish it, you're gonna come all the way back into your tooth clip here. Okay. So that will give you a really secure connection to the back plate, okay? And there's still a little bit of room there for adjustment. So as you can see, both of them are now installed, both shoulder straps, and there is a little bit of excess here. Um, my recommendation would cut them off, uh, which we will do in a little bit, um, and then you got to melt the fibers so that they don't unravel and stuff. Um, you could leave them like this length, but there's no reason to have that much tail hanging around. It's going to get caught in between your holes while you're trying to get your single tank adapter on and stuff. So now that we've got the shoulder straps installed, um, the next thing we're going to do is the waistband, okay? It actually goes underneath the backing pad here. It's called the soft pad. And in the kit is this little plastic book screw. So first thing, I'll remove the, um, re the retaining bolt here so we can have access to it. And basically it's gonna go in the bottom of this slot here. So just remember, these are plastic book screws, so try not to over tighten them. Uh, you will crack and break them. Uh, next, you see on here, we do have, uh, can, are you able to see that up close? Is these are our plastic, or, sorry, our uh, nylon webbing sleeves. Um, we put these on and that is so, they add as extra protection here in the plate um, when installed. We're just gonna run that through. So there's shows how the uh, sleeve protects rubbing inside the uh, grooves of the plate here. You're just going to go in these uh, diagonally uh, located slots here. Okay. And there is the waistband installed. So in the cummerbund portion of the uh, back pad here, you'll see there's this webbing, sewn webbing part here, where these uh, waist belts will just go through here. All right, but before you go through the end one, remember you have your shoulder strap to attach. So you bring your shoulder strap down and just Remember the orientation, okay? The shoulder strap will twist here so that when folded over, it is orientated proper, okay? This one is already pre-marked as we had it sized for the customer. 
So in these um, lower strap uh, clips that attach to the waist belt, you'll see there's four slots. So you're gonna go in, the, in through the first one. Okay. Back through. Till we get our mark in the center. And that's it attached okay so now you'll see it looks twisted but when you orientate it properly um, it's actually straight in line okay so we're going to do the right side shoulder strap now so just orientate it straight and then give it that twist if you want make it easier on yourself you can actually disconnect it from the top section and then you just have the small uh, section here to work with uh, so first thing into the first hole up through the second one and adjust it now so that your paint mark you can see that paint mark is right in the center of your buckle and just finish the weave. Okay, and that's the second one installed. And then your tail will just go through the rest of the cummerbund. And always just make sure, um, reconnect your buckle to make sure that it's all orientated properly. Before we finish off the waist belt, we still have the, um, the buckle to put on. So we're gonna go back to the left hand side and grab the tail. You're gonna run it through the cummerbund. And then through the plastic adjustment buckle here. Now we can put our waist buckle on. So go through the first hole, back up through the second one, and finish it back down through the There's your buckle installed, and you just adjust it to whatever size you need. Now the one thing that doesn't come with your kit um, if you're buying the uh, deluxe um, harness set here, the comfort system, um, is a crotch strap, which if you're diving back plate and wing, you always wanna have a crotch strap, keep your BC from floating up on you. So we are gonna install a crotch strap on this one. So what we're gonna do is come through the retaining buckle on here, okay, at the bottom of the, the, comfort, the uh, soft pad. Through our buckle. Okay, now always leave it nice and loose because as this is going to come through the back plate, you're gonna need to come back through the webbing here, okay? It's a bit of a pain to get in and out, but totally doable. Okay. There you go, and it's nice and clean on the outside and the tail of your crotch strap is underneath, not seen. So we're gonna install 
the hog 32 pound wing on this one. Um, just make sure you orientate it properly. You got your uh, pull cord with your uh, inflator valve, uh, exhalation valve here, and your hose that comes up from the back side. Okay, this is the outside here. Um, the other thing we're going to install is the stainless steel single tank adapter here to attach your tank. So first thing, this is always the fun part, is on your book screws, you'll see they got a, these are pan head screws actually. They got the square shoulder and that will sit right inside here to lock it in. Second hole. Okay, that's where we're going to install this one. And now you got to get your get it through your plate and the soft pad here. Just make sure you line it up with the second hole on the plate and the second hole in here. Now I'm using the Halcyon um, uh, little uh, nuts here. So these are the 5 16 ones. You can use the stainless steel nuts that come with the kit. But these hurt less poking into your back. So that's it. Now we just gotta do the lower one. Same thing, you'll see the slot here, and you go through, make sure it lines up with your plate. Okay, and then through the back. And this one's gonna be a little tight because you've also got the waist belt on here. So I'm actually gonna swap out this one bolt and put some longer ones in here, just so we can get all the way through. So as you can see here, there's two different sizes um, of the panhead uh, bolts. Uh, this is the one that we tried to get through. It's a little too short, so we're gonna to go to the little bigger one. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going through this uh, area here, so the little longer one will just help us get all the way through. There you go, nice and snug. So that is the, um, the back wing and your single tank adapter installed. Um, next thing we're gonna do is put in the cam bands and the weight pockets on the back here. So last thing we're gonna install on here is the cam bands for the tank. Um, but we're also putting on these little five pound uh, droppable weight pockets. Um, they can be a little confusing. Everybody, you would think you'd want to install them this way, but just look at the logo and orientate it as such because they're designed, if you have to drop weight, you pull the pouch and out it goes. So just make sure they're orientated properly. Um, I've gone and installed this one onto my cam band already. 
and this is how they go on. Now, for the top one, I always put it through the the second one down uh, instead of the top one because I see most tanks in pretty close to here, uh, depending on which tanks you have, and the, it seems to end up right near the where the curvature of the tank. So I always put it on the second one here, so that way it, it grabs a hold of the tank properly. So these can be a little tricky to get through and really confusing if you've never done them before, just because they have to be put in in a certain way. Um, you have these rubber strips also on here that protect the tank against rubbing on the stainless steel. Okay, and then our second weight pocket. Again, just check the orientation. This is the top, so they'll be facing this way. Okay, and then those are my trim pockets for this. Um, these are great, especially if you're like down south in warmer weather. This is a lightweight travel pack, so you're not um, worried about having weight pockets on the side, which you can install if you want. Um, there is additional pockets you can put on here. Um, we're just going to go with these ones because they're more than sufficient on the top and bottom ones uh, to give us the weight that we need. And with back plate and wing, traditionally at the surface, it's going to want to push you forward in the water because the flotation is on your back. So having the weight pockets on the tank area helps to bring you back uh, like up perpendicular in the water. Okay, so when you gotta do up the cam band, it can be really confusing. There's like five different slots this thing needs to go through. It is displayed on the side of it and they are numbered to make it a little bit easier. But one thing I would do Put it into this position um, prior to getting started okay then number one is through the steel buckle okay number two is actually labeled on the outside so you're going to come through through number two and then number three and number four is on the outside so number three, and that is considered number four, and then this is number five. So when you pop this back, okay, there is your Kanban installed. So I'm gonna do the uh, bottom cam band as well, just to go through it again, because this part can be a bit confusing. So first off, make sure you're orientated properly so this flap is down, okay? And you wanna put your first pouch on, then your rubber strip, okay? Put it through your tank adapter. And we're going on the bottom one, as I said there. Um, it just gives you the spacing you need here. Okay. Back through your rubber protection. Okay, don't forget your other weight pocket, orientated again properly. All right, now the fun part. <laughs> One, 
two. Three. This side is four. And the last hole is five. Okay, then pop it out of the detent into position. And there's your other cam band. Okay, this one was all sized and fitted for a customer. Uh, it was a little smaller than me, but um, I am gonna just put it all on to make sure everything is uh, put together properly. So just loosen off the shoulder straps, fit it through. Other side here, just make sure it's all nice and comfortable. Come out of there. Uh, the waist belt, okay. Um, the crotch strap on this one might be a little tight, but it'll serve its purpose. Now you can always adjust the buckle to where you want it, but off to the side is a little, uh, is pretty good because you got your crotch strap up in here so you don't want it, it hidden in behind the crotch strap where you're not able to get it off in the emergency okay and there you go nice lightweight travel uh, back plate and wing thanks for watching hope you liked the video uh, if you have any comments or questions by all means leave them uh, down below uh, make sure to subscribe and we'll be sure to bring you some more content very soon.